Have you ever found yourself expecting too much from others in your life? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that's crucial to our personal and professional relationships, the art of managing expectations. We often burden others with unrealistic expectations which can lead to disappointment and strain. This video is designed to help you identify and let go of 15 common expectations we often impose on others. We've divided this journey into several chapters, each focusing on a specific expectation that you need to stop expecting from others. From expecting others to make your life great, to expecting them to rise to your potential, and even expecting them to make you rich, we'll cover it all. So buckle up, elite minds, as we delve into the 15 things you should stop expecting from others. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Firstly, stop expecting others to make your life great. You see, that to a fantastic life isn't in someone else's pocket. It's in yours. Life is a do-it-yourself project. Your achievements, your happiness, these aren't things someone else can hand over to you. They're things you cultivate and build within yourself. It's about realizing that you're the architect of your own life. Your decisions, your actions, your mindset, these are the building blocks that shape your world. So take control. Be the master of your own destiny. Don't wait around for someone else to hand you the keys to a great life. Create that life for yourself. Make your own opportunities, your own goals, and chase them with all the determination you can muster. Remember, you are the captain of your own ship. Speaking of ships, don't forget to jump aboard ours by subscribing to our channel. Think of it as taking control of your YouTube destiny. Unlike the Titanic, we promise we won't hit an iceberg. Secondly, stop expecting others to rise to your potential. It's time we talk about accepting people as they are, rather than how we wish they would be. We all have a unique blend of talents, abilities, and skills. But sometimes, we project our own potential onto others, expecting them to follow the same path or achieve the same goals. This is a recipe for disappointment and frustration. Remember, not everyone shares our vision or our drive. Someone else's success may look different from ours and that's okay. It's vital to respect individuality, to celebrate the diverse ways in which people choose to express themselves and live their lives. Think about it. How fair is it to expect someone else to live up to your standards of success? They have their own dreams, their own aspirations, and their own definition of what it means to rise. So let's shift our mindset. Instead of expecting others to match our potential, let's encourage them to discover and fulfill their own. Let's be the kind of people who inspire others to explore their unique abilities and passions, rather than imposing our expectations on them. Everyone has their own unique journey and pace in life. Let's respect that and celebrate the diversity it brings to our world. Thirdly, stop expecting others to read your mind. This might sound a bit strange, but let's face it, we've all been guilty of this at some point or another. We expect people to know what we want, how we're feeling or what we're thinking without us having to say a word. But guess what? Other people aren't mind readers. Clear communication is key in every aspect of our lives, be it in our relationships, our careers or our wealth building journey. If you have certain needs or expectations, it is up to you to express them. Don't wait for others to pick up on subtle hints or to interpret your silence. You see, when you communicate your needs clearly, you give others the opportunity to understand you better. It helps prevent misunderstandings and it fosters healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Plus, it empowers you to take control of your life and your relationships rather than leaving everything up to chance or to other people's perceptions. So speak up and be clear about your needs. Trust me, it's a game changer. Fourthly, stop expecting others to be your source of happiness. It's a common misconception that happiness is something external, something that someone else can provide for us. But the truth is, happiness is an inside job. It's a state of mind that comes from the simple joys of life, from cultivating positive relationships, from pursuing passions, and from the satisfaction of achieving personal goals. 
Your happiness shouldn't hinge on someone else's actions, words, or approval. Don't hand over the keys to your happiness to anyone else. You have the power to create your own happiness, to find joy in the ordinary moments, to revel in your own accomplishments, no matter how small they might seem. This is not to say that others can't contribute to our happiness. Of course they can. But they should be enhancing the happiness we already have, not be the sole source of it. So let's stop placing the burden of our happiness on others. Let's stop expecting them to be our cheerleaders, our entertainers, our saviors. Instead, let's take charge of our own happiness. Let's cultivate a sense of joy that's rooted within us, independent of anyone else. Because ultimately, your happiness is in your hands. It's a journey that starts and ends with you. Your happiness should be self-sourced and self-sustained. And hey, while you're on this happiness journey, why not hit that subscribe button? It's free and won't compromise your joy. In fact, it's scientifically unproven that subscribing might actually enhance your happiness. Fifthly, stop expecting others to understand your change. You know, personal growth is a fascinating journey. It's the process of understanding who we truly are and the potential we can reach. But here's the kicker. This journey is personal. It's uniquely yours. It's not for the person next to you, your friends, or even your family. It's for you. So when you start to change, grow, and evolve, it's natural for some people not to understand it. They see you transforming into a different version of yourself, and it might be confusing or even intimidating for them. But that's okay. You don't need their understanding or approval to grow. Remember, your personal transformation is not a popularity contest. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, creating your own wealth secrets, and moving towards financial freedom. So, embrace your change, celebrate it, and don't be deterred if others don't get it. After all, your personal growth is for you, not for them. Sixthly, stop expecting others to have answers to your problems. The truth is, nobody has a magic wand to solve the puzzles of your life. In fact, the power to untangle your predicaments lies within you. You see, every problem you confront is unique to your journey, your experiences, and your perspective. Others may offer advice, sure, but ultimately, it's you who must navigate the labyrinth of your own challenges. Think of it this way. Every problem is an opportunity in disguise, a chance to learn, grow, and become more resilient. So embrace these opportunities. Seek advice, yes, but remember, you are the architect of your own solutions. And remember, there's no such thing as failure, only feedback. Each problem you face and solve on your own brings you one step closer to financial success, wealth creation, and yes, that coveted millionaire status. So, take the reins, harness the power of your own intellect and intuition. After all, the path to financial freedom and a luxury lifestyle is paved with your own solutions, your problems, your solutions. Seventhly, stop expecting everyone to like you. Now this is a tough one, isn't it? We all want to be liked, to be appreciated, to be acknowledged. But here's the thing, it's simply not possible to be liked by everyone, and that's perfectly okay. There's a saying, you could be the ripest, juiciest peach in the world, but there will still be someone who just doesn't like peaches. And that's the truth. We're all different with our own tastes, preferences, and opinions. What appeals to one person may not appeal to another. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. It's what makes the world such a diverse and interesting place. Now. I know I just said not to expect everyone to like you, but can I ask you to do me a favor? Could you pretend to like me for just a second and hit that subscribe button? Think of it as your good deed for the day. I promise it won't make you a peach if you're not one already. So instead of striving to be universally liked, strive to be authentically you. Be genuine, be kind, and be true to yourself. The right people, the ones who truly matter, they will like and respect you for who you are. Remember, being universally liked is a myth. Instead, focus on liking yourself, on being someone you can be proud of. That's what truly matters. Eighthly, stop expecting others to show up for you like you do for them. This is a simple yet profound truth that many of us often overlook. Everyone has their own set of priorities, their own battles to fight, and their own dreams to chase. Just like you, they are on their unique journey, navigating through life as best as they can. It's important to understand that not everyone will always be available to lend a hand. 
offer a listening ear, or share in your moments of joy or sorrow. This does not mean they don't care about you or appreciate your presence in their lives. It's just that sometimes, their journey might take them on a different path, one that doesn't always align with yours. It's crucial to maintain a balance between understanding this fact and not feeling let down when people don't show up the way you expect them to. Remember, it's not about keeping score or comparing who does more for whom. It's about respect and understanding. It's about acknowledging that everyone has their own life to live, their own problems to solve, and their own victories to celebrate. Their absence does not reflect their affection. It simply means they have their own priorities, just like you do. So the next time someone doesn't show up for you, don't take it personally. Instead, show up for yourself. Be your own cheerleader, your own confidant, your own best friend. After all, the most important relationship you'll ever have is the one you have with yourself. Ninthly, stop expecting others to stay when it's time for them to go. It's a natural part of life that people come and go. We often find ourselves clinging to people, even when it's clear that their chapter in our story has ended. This is particularly true in the pursuit of financial freedom. We might hold on to business partners or financial advisors, even when it's evident that their advice doesn't contribute to our wealth creation anymore. It's crucial to understand that letting go doesn't mean failure. It means we're making room for new opportunities, new connections, and new chapters in our wealth-building journey. It's about understanding that our path to financial success might require different people at different times. It's about accepting that even a millionaire has to let go of outdated strategies and make room for new wealth secrets. So remember, letting go is not losing. Letting go is a part of growth. Tenthly, stop expecting others to make you rich. No one else holds the keys to your wealth creation. It's a common misconception that someone else, a financial advisor, a business partner, or even a lucky lottery ticket, will be the source of your riches. But the truth is, building wealth is a result of your own efforts. It's about cultivating financial literacy, understanding the secrets of passive income, and making smart, informed decisions. It's about embracing the mindset of a millionaire, recognizing the opportunities around you, and taking action. It's about creating a luxury lifestyle that's sustainable, not just a fleeting moment of extravagance. It's easy to look at others who have achieved financial success and think it happened overnight. But in reality, it's a journey. It requires patience, perseverance, and a lot of hard work. And it's a journey that you, and only you, can embark on. Remember, the path to financial freedom isn't paved with gold handed to you by someone else. It's paved with the gold you've mined yourself through your own efforts and determination. Your financial freedom is in your hands. Eleventhly, stop expecting others to make you their priority. It's a hard pill to swallow, but here's the truth. Everyone has their own path to tread, their own battles to fight, and their own dreams to chase. Just as you have your unique journey, they do too. It's perfectly normal and healthy. It's not about who cares more or who's more important. It's about understanding that people have different priorities, and that's okay. It's about respecting individuality and personal space. Remember, you are not entitled to anyone's time or attention. It's something to be earned, not demanded. So instead of expecting others to make you their priority, focus on becoming your own priority. Invest in yourself, in your personal growth, and in your financial freedom. When you start treating yourself as a priority, you'll find that you don't need to be anyone else's. You are your own priority. Twelfthly, stop expecting others to have it all together. It's a common misconception that everyone else has their life perfectly pieced together, while yours seems like a puzzle with missing parts. But the reality is, everyone is dealing with their own struggles, their own challenges, and their own battles. Even the wealthiest individuals, those who've achieved financial freedom and have become millionaires, they also face their own hurdles. In the journey of wealth creation, remember, no one truly has it all together. We're all trying to navigate this complex world, whether it's about financial literacy or personal growth or building a luxury lifestyle. Everyone is on their unique path, figuring things out one day at a time. So let's dismantle this illusion of perfection 
and acknowledge that everyone, no matter how successful they might seem, is fighting their own battles. Understanding this will not only free you from unrealistic expectations, but will also foster empathy and compassion. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all have our highs and lows, and that's perfectly okay. Remember, everyone has their own battles to fight. Thirteenthly, stop demanding forgiveness. Now isn't that something we've all been guilty of at some point? We've all made mistakes and sought redemption. But here's the cold, hard truth. Forgiveness cannot be forced. It's not something that you can demand or negotiate. It's an emotional process that takes time and healing. Imagine forgiveness as a seed. You plant it, you nurture it, but you can't force it to grow. It has to sprout naturally, at its own pace. You can't rush the process. You can't stand over it demanding that it grows faster. The same applies to forgiveness. It may take days, weeks, months or even years, but it has to come naturally and in its own time. Remember, forgiveness is not about letting the person who hurt you off the hook. It's about freeing yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. It's about letting go and moving forward. So next time you seek forgiveness, remember to be patient. Allow the other person to process their emotions. Allow them the time they need to heal. Forgiveness is a gift, not a demand. Fourteenthly, don't expect others to be on the same journey as you. The world is a vast tapestry of individual stories and experiences. Each person you meet is on their own unique path. They have their own dreams to chase, their own battles to fight, and their own lessons to learn. Some people might be sprinting towards their goals, while others take a leisurely stroll, savoring each moment. No one's journey is better or worse, it's simply different. So appreciate the diversity of life's paths, celebrate others' victories and empathize with their struggles, but never compare your journey to theirs. Remember, you are not running against anyone else. Your only competition is the person you were yesterday. So focus on your own growth and progress. Don't be disheartened if someone else seems to be moving faster. They are running their race, and you are running yours. In the grand scheme of things, it's not about who reaches the finish line first, but about who learned the most along the way. Everyone is running their own race. Lastly, don't expect others to give as many Fs as you do. You see, each of us is on a unique journey with our own passions, interests, and priorities. It's natural to feel enthusiastic about our pursuits, and it's equally natural to hope for others to share in that enthusiasm. But here's the twist. Not everyone will. Your passions might be your guiding star, your north on the compass of life. But for others, they might just be another constellation in their sky. They have their own stars to follow, their own dreams to chase. And that's okay. It doesn't make your passions any less significant. It doesn't make your journey any less important. It simply means that your passions are yours, uniquely and wonderfully yours. They are the fuel that drives you, the fire that lights your way. They are not meant to be mirrored or matched by others. They are meant to be cherished and pursued by you. So remember, while it's great to share your enthusiasm and dreams with others, don't expect them to hold the same level of interest or commitment. Your passion is yours alone. Well, there you have it. Elite Minds. The 15 things to stop expecting from others. The secret to a happier, healthier life and relationships lies in letting go of these expectations. We've journeyed together through the importance of taking charge of your own happiness, accepting people for who they are, and understanding that financial freedom is a personal journey. Wealth building and the path to becoming a millionaire are your responsibilities, not someone else's. We've also touched on the importance of clear communication and why expecting others to read your mind is a path to disappointment. Remember that your passions, your journey, and your priorities are personal to you. They may not hold the same importance for others, and that's okay. We've discussed the concept of personal growth and how it's essential to embrace your changes, even if others don't understand them. Everyone has their own struggles and their own journey. Don't expect others to be on the same path as you. We've delved into the idea that not everyone will like you or make you their priority, and that's perfectly fine. 
The key is to maintain your own course and not be swayed by the opinions or actions of others. And finally, we've explored the concept of forgiveness, understanding that it cannot be forced, but must come naturally and in its own time. We hope this exploration of expectations has provided you with some valuable insights and tools to improve your relationships and your outlook on life. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. So don't hold back. Share your insights, experiences, and even your wealth secrets in the comments section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you don't, well, we won't expect it. Until next time, keep being the elite mind that you are.